how about diet? Because th there's so much out there, like be a vegetarian, no be a vegan, protein, not protein, and you know, yet again, you're the person who measures it. Is protein bad? We need protein, otherwise bad things will happen. It's very, yeah, like each kind of nutrient uh, within diets, you know, there's micronutrients, macronutrients, and then macrotoxins and microtoxins as well. You can, you can use that terminology also on the other side. Each one of those, there's kind of like a whole one page of talking points that you'd have to understand really, and then apply that into an individual. Uh, situation in the correct way as well. So diet's extremely complicated. It's not as simple as sleep almost in a way. But yeah, in terms of what's associated with or, or somewhat studies and proven with diet and longevity, there is the Alternative Healthy Eating Index 2010 version, which is 10 kind of dietary behaviors, which include eating a certain amount of vegetables, fruits, uh, nuts, omega-3, omega-6, not eating processed trans fats, un unnatural ones, not the natural ones that are found in dairy, but processed trans fats and not having too much processed meat and too much salt of the sodium form in particular. That kind of diet, you know, it's not super complicated. That's what's associated most with longevity kind of consistently in the population studies long term. And we're starting to see that also in some research markers for biological age, such as the epigenetic clocks, which you probably probably quite familiar with.